welcome everyone back to this tutorial series on Green's Mansion from Hermitcraft Season 7. Now before we begin I need to very quickly address something from the last episode. I'm not quite sure how this happened because I checked the video and everything in that is correct. But in the world uploaded for the world download, this line of blocks just here at the front of the mansion where we would meet the stairs, that is one block further back than it ought to be. So if you were to build it up there would be a block gap between the stairs here and the wall which is not what we want. Now I have corrected it since then, since I worked it out, but if you're using that world download, especially if you downloaded it early on just after the video came out, then just do this before you begin, build up and check that that touches the edge of the stairs there and then it doesn't come up like that with a block gap there. What we're going to be building in this episode is the front of the mansion for what would essentially be the ground floor if this was just a regular building and the materials that we need are some andesite, polished andesite, polished andesite stairs and andesite walls, stone and stone slabs, stone bricks and stone brick slabs, cyan terracotta, grey concrete powder, grey wool, light grey concrete and light grey wool, clay blocks, light grey stained glass panes, polished diorite and some bone blocks and like the last episode the exact amounts of all of those are going to be down in the description. Also some stripped spruce logs, but hey, this wouldn't be a Matt Craft tutorial without me forgetting at least one of the items. To begin with, our outline at the moment is a single andesite block. So we're gonna go around the entire outline with andesite and build up so that the whole thing is two blocks high. Once you've done that, you're gonna to come to these pointy bits at the front and they are gonna be three blocks of andesite high. So from that block there, all the way around to that block, we're making that three blocks high and doing that to this other one as well. And you can then go ahead and top those off with some polished andesite. And then we have these three little bits just on the outside here. We're gonna basically repeat those on top of themselves. So with our polished andesite and stone bricks, just build those another layer on top of themselves. And then for the entire rest of the wall, so that's this little rectangle in the middle here, and then from these blocks all the way around, so the same bit on the other side, that is a pattern we follow, and I'm gonna show you what that pattern is now. So the pattern that we follow for this is a polished andesite block, with then an upside down polished andesite stairs on top of it like that, so you'll need blocks behind it to place those. We then have regular andesite on top of that, and polished andesite on top of that. So this is the pattern, and we literally follow this around the entire way around the wall like that. So here is what that wall looks like once it's all built. And just a couple of things to look at here. Firstly, on the end here, this one on the outside of the pointy bit, and the same over there, you want this stair right here to be at the angle where it goes around the corner like that. And then here, and also on these diagonals in the corners, depending on how you've built this, you're probably gonna have a bunch of gaps like this. So we're gonna go around behind this thing, and everywhere you've got a gap, just stick a bit of polished dye right there, and then let's see, corner there, corner there, corner there, and so on all the way around to fill in all of these gaps. Now we're gonna leave the wall alone for just a little bit. We're gonna come to the top of our stairs here, take some signed terracotta and put two blocks like that, and switch to your andesite. Two blocks like that, two blocks going up like that, a block of polished andesite, and then another five blocks of regular andesite going up like that, and do that on this side as well. Then we're gonna come into this corner down here, put whatever block there to build up on and with stone bricks then we're going to build up for 13. And we're also going to build stone bricks on this block here at the front up to the same height as that and over on the other side here as well. Come back down to the stairs and just behind this top block of stairs place whatever block you want there. This is just to build up the door on. and then we're going to take stripped spruce logs and we're going to build our stripped spruce logs up to the top of where this andesite is and do that all the way across so we fill in this entire gap. Now we're gonna build up some more of these stone pillars. So we're gonna to come to this end block here, put 13 stone bricks going up to the same height as these there. Do the same on those two blocks just there. And then the same on those two blocks just there. And then on the inside of this corner, we're gonna build up in a corner of three like that. Again, same height as all of these are gonna be and one more in this corner just here. That is another 13 blocks going up. Once you have done that for both sides of your mansion, you can grab some signed terracotta and we're actually gonna start building up the wall itself now. So we're gonna come in here behind our pointy bits at the front. You can start off with any block, it doesn't have to be the terracotta, but we're gonna place blocks behind each of these just to build up on. And then going this way towards the outside of the mansion, we're going 
that's the middle one and then one two three four and five out that way and then this way one two three four that way and including this block here these need to be 12 highs that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and build all of those up to that height moving around we're going to take some gray wool and we're going to start from one block below where the top of this is so from this block and also make sure it's in one block like that you're going to build two going in like that then come down one and two again come down one and two again and down one and two more like that and now everything below this is going to be filled in with the gray wool and above it to the same level as this is going to be gray concrete powder and for this next wall we are going to be building it up from one block behind each of these and we're going to build up with our wall one two three four five six seven and eight and then change to the gray concrete powder where is it there it is and build that up the rest of the way to the top and do that all the way across to this bit here and then in this little gap here we're going to do the same except the wall is going to be one block lower so we're only going to come up one two three four five six seven blocks of wall before we fill the rest in with the concrete powder this last wall is a little different because there's a window in it so we're going to start at each end we're going to start with this inside end and we want gray wool going one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty fourteen blocks up on both of those two and then on this end we want the gray wall going up 11 blocks and then for the rest of these blocks in the middle we're just going to have the gray wall going up by two blocks so two blocks there two blocks there and so on we're going to take our polished andesite stairs and from this inside end we're going to place them upside down on those two blocks those two those two and that one we're going to place a block of andesite on top of each of those stairs and then switch to andesite slabs and put them coming out from all of them except this last one so that it looks like that. We're going to place a block of stone on top of each of those slabs, including that one end there. And take your polished andesite stairs, put one on the end like that, and one on that block just there, so not quite on the end. Switch back to your stone, and on top of each of those stairs, we're going to build nine blocks going up like that. Do that on this one as well. We're then going to switch to our polished diorite, put one on the top like that, and then go two that way and one out, two that way, and one out, two that way, and one out, and you should end up on top of that pillar of stone. We can then put our window in with the light gray stained glass panes, and it's gonna be in the same line as this line of diorite we've just done. So on this stone here, we go two that way, and one out, two that way, and one out, and then two that way, so it connects in just behind that stone pillar, and fill this in all the way up to the diorite. So once you've filled in your window, you're gonna go back to your stone, and on this block here, it's just kind of behind and on diagonal from that. We're gonna build that one up to the same height as this. Then switch to your stone slabs. And along the top of the diorite, we're going like that, like that, like that, and like that. And then on this end one as well, we're gonna bring it around to the side. You're then gonna copy that a block below these. So leave like a half block gap and go there, there, and bring it out like this and also this one end one here we need them coming around the end like that now on this end just behind here we want to build up stone similarly to what we did with this one up like that again to the same height as this bit of stone here and then these last gaps here and there's a gap over there we're going to fill that in with our gray wool grab some bone blocks and come up to the top of your window here and we're going to place them on those two blocks those two blocks and that block and then this one in the middle here, we're gonna place another one just on top of it like that. Then you're gonna grab your stone brick slabs, put one on top of that diorite, one there, put a full stone brick block there, and a slab like that. And then put a slab on the side of that one and one more on top of that one there. Then just behind all of those ones we've done, we're gonna stick some stone bricks on top of that diorite and a slab on top of that one just there. And now on the other side, we're going to put a stone brick block there next to the bone block. We're going to put a slab on top of it like that with a full stone brick block next to the slab. And now to finish us off with our window here, we're going to place stone brick slabs there and there. Put a full stone brick block on top of that one just there with a slab coming out from it just like that. 
and then that is our window all completed. The next bit is to come back in the middle here and finish off this area around the door. So we're gonna grab some stone blocks and underneath the stairs here, we need to fill in the edges of this so it's not just like open to go under. So we want one block behind the sign terracotta. We're filling in the gaps like that with stone. And wherever you have a gap here because of the slab, just break the slab and replace it with stone. That'll still look the same on top of the stairs like so. So we're gonna fill in this side like that and we're gonna fill in all of this side like that all the way back to the wall. Once you've built that wall of stone there, you're gonna count one, two blocks out along this little wall here. Put a sign terracotta block there and there and then build these up until you meet that bit there and then build it around the corner like that as well, just high enough until you hit the block below where that wood is. Now to fill this little section of wall in here, we're gonna come just behind that sign terracotta we just placed with our gray wool, build it up like that so that it is one block above like that and then we're building up in a diagonal like that. Everything down below this gets filled in with the wool and everything above it gets filled in with gray concrete powder up to the same level as our little pillars here. And now for this wall here, we're gonna continue our wall up at one block above where we finished up here. Go two across and one up, two across and one up like that. And once you have filled all that in, that will be the main part of this wall actually complete. And the last thing we're gonna do in this tutorial is finish off these little bits here, which are actually gonna come up and form like a bit of a balcony type thing, just in front of these little sections of wall. So to start these sections off, we're gonna grab our stone bricks, and in the, each of these, wherever there is a bit of stone brick, we're building two stone bricks, one polished andesite, and then one, two, three, four, five light gray concrete. We'll do the same on this one and that one. So that should give you this. We're gonna come into this middle one. We're gonna place light gray concrete on the side and up and on the side and up like that. And then going out towards this one, we're gonna place a temporary concrete there and come out one and across two. Another temporary concrete, out one and across two. And then here where, we, where it just meets that, come down one like that. We're gonna do a similar thing on this side. Do a temporary one and across two like that. Break that temporary one. Same again, temporary one, across two and break that one. And then just here on that one, we're going down like so. Next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna to come to this end. This is the inside end that's closer to the door there. We're gonna come behind this, place a template block, and come across like that, so you're at a diagonal. Go one on top of it like that, and then switch to the light gray wall. Go across two towards the wall like that. And then with this last block here, place one there at that diagonal touching the wall, and bring it down like that. So that's how this end connects to that wall. And on this end, we're gonna come across on this block here to a diagonal in this one. We're gonna build that up to the same height as that. We're then switching back to our light gray wall and across all this concrete, wherever there's a concrete block, we're gonna build up the wall to be the same height as this wall here. Now place any temporary block you want on top of all of these blocks that we've just placed going all the way across there. And then take some polished andesite and have polished andesite coming out from these for one block like that all the way across until you've got that. And then all of those polished andesite blocks, we're gonna place a polished andesite slab coming out from the top half of it, just like that. On top of those slabs, wherever it's a corner, we're gonna place an andesite wall like this, just on the corners. And then on top of that, going all the way along, we're gonna place andesite blocks, sorry, polished andesite blocks going all the way back along like this. And then coming behind there and behind where all these walls are, going along like this, place your clay blocks like so. And I'll show you what this looks like when we're finished. Once you've put all of those clay blocks in and we come out, it's gonna look just a wee bit like that. And then last of all, we're gonna go along again with our andesite uh, walls and put them up on the corners above where the other walls are, like so. And that is what that will look like. Once you've done all of that for both sides, this is what you're gonna be left with, and this is where I'm gonna leave the video. So I really hope you have enjoyed this part of the tutorial. If you did, hit that like button, leave a comment letting me know what you thought, and if you're not already, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Until the next one, guys, I've been Matt, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.